Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This is going to be the Sponge versus Pro Exist on on Quicksilver, and I take back my previous statement. Pro Exist is no longer underrated. At least he wasn't in this game. It it's kind of weird. I think what it is is that there's some discrepancy in the Elo dis. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I see what it is. Yeah, he is he is properly rated now. He was underrated for a while, but now. Now it's great. Now he's just right. Like 2,000 Nello. That, that he deserves. Anyway, that aside, let's go to the game. So, speaking of which, exists starting out in the southwest corner of the map. And he... Ooh, what is he doing? Jump Jet Factory on low ground. Interesting choice. While the Sponge, on the other hand, going for Kaligabot Factory on the high ground. I find this an interesting choice because with Jump Bots, you could just jump down to the low ground. Although, at the same time, you can also jump the high ground in order to defend it, and to be fair, this is an unexpected spot for a factory, and fairly defensible too. I can kind of see why he did that. Anyway, starting out with Pyro Puppy into Freaker. A slightly aggressive opening, while the Sponge going for a very aggressive opening with five Glaives into a Rector, or sorry, into a Conjurer. Early five Glaive opening, straight for harassment, although he will find very quickly that Exist is not where he expects him to be. He will also find very quickly a Pyro coming in, and we'll have to deal with that. Looks like he is going straight. He is taking the bait, moving back for it, and Exist will probably be losing this Pyro, but at the same time, he'll take out a Glaive and buy himself a good minute or so. It's, uh, well, 30 seconds. Yeah, no, minute, actually. If not more, the Sponge is not moving forward from here. He is taking the center once again. Or, I should say, once again. Similarly to how we saw Kane do it, but in this case, the Sponge did just lose a couple Glaives out of his five. A little surprising he hasn't moved forward a bit further, but I can kind of see, being that he has taken out a Pyro and knows more will be coming. Doesn't necessarily know from where, Quicksilver being the map it is, there's quite a lot of room to maneuver and a lot of places that your units can go. There's this choke one here, this choke one here, there's the water on the side, there's the... This is actually a ramp down. There is... What else is there? This was the jump off factor, you go straight to the center. It's a little bit tricky to figure out where your opponent's going to be coming from. Anyway, the Sponge is still slightly ahead economically exists, just taking his main base now, while the Sponge very quickly jumped down to the lower level and has been building up some economy here. Now at this point, the Freaker is done, building up some Lotus, or a Lotus, before building more Metal Extractors. But at this point, the Sponge is ahead economically. Fairly notably ahead economically, and is continuing to move forward, center, setting up in the center of the map. Does have some glaze for defense and continuing to build glaze has not switched over to raiders yet he's fairly confident he can deal with the pyros using only glaze however puppies are a bigger problem puppies having what's your damage 410 damage yeah they they will one shot glaze bit of a problem for the sponge seeing as right now he has enough glaze to the puppy or as many glazes as there are puppies which means they'll all get one shotted because puppies tend not to overkill they don't die if they don't actually hit anything, so unless they hit simultaneously, they will not overkill. So basically, the Sponge will lose half of his Glaze right off the bat, and then have to use the remaining two or so in order to get rid of this Pyro. Not to mention the Lotus, but that actually is not going to be that big of a deal. Thankfully for the Sponge, though, he did manage to avoid the Pyro, the Puppies and the Pyros. Gets in the Metal Extractor, loses the Glaive, first Glaive goes down, and the remaining Glaives do move back, second Glaive goes down, but the other five Glaives, having taken care of a couple of Metal Extractors, move back, keeping the Sponge's economic lead intact and actually allowing it to even have gains. The Sponge right now has an economic... Ooh, he's got twice the economy of... Well, twice the Metal Economy of Exist. His energy is bottleneck, but his Metal Economy is great. Building more Solar Collectors in the center to act as a bit of a wall on this particular Metal Extractor. And Exist kind of staying within his own base, not moving too far out. Not expanding too much. Moving around with the puppy to harass, possibly. Scout out, figure out where the sponge has set himself up. And the sponge... Checking what vision he has right now. Sponge has radar over his side of the map. Top right corner and a little into the center. He does know of a puppy coming down here, and he's sending a couple glaives to deal with it. Which they will by... Oh, not dying, actually. The glaive does survive. Nicely done there. Exist, on the other hand. What vision does he have? He has his corner. A little bit in the center, he sees that sp the sponge has a fair amount set up at the center, but not much beyond that, using the puppies to try to find everything else. And the sponge about to stop one of these puppies, but not before it finds... Oops. 
Not before it finds the sponge's base, and that... That gives Exist a decent amount of information. You can assume where the sponge's factory is, because on the high ground is typical. It's usually where you put the factory in this map. Exist's positioning is quite unusual, but... That's worked out decently well, I think. However, the sponge moving out with a few glaives, four of them getting knocked into a placeholder. Well, a placeholder black hole, but the rest of them able to move back, get rid of a couple pyros, or get rid of one of the pyros, the lotus being a bit of a pain, and a lot of glaives are going down. Unfortunately, thanks to the placeholder, most of them were taken out, but even with that... Oh, this is bad. All the glaives in the placeholder black hole with the lotus after them. Fortunately, one of their member, one of their number does go in, takes out the lotus, Hero Glaive before it goes dying itself, but unfortunately for the rest of them, Pyro finished them off. So that placeholder against Grusa Raiders does a wonderful job. Now that's kind of why it exists, just to give, well, to give the rest of the units an easy time getting in. Either staying at range for things like Moderators, or just getting in and taking them out for things like Jacks, or for Pyros, just so the Pyro can really take advantage of his Lion Splash. Anyway, the Sponge, however, does still have his economic advantage. Not as pronounced as it has been, but it still exists. He's still building a lot of glaives. He does have some floating going on. Not a whole lot, seeing as he has been producing economy and defenses as he's been making units. Nine seconds away from a caretaker, so he's not floating quite yet. He does have all of his resources being spent. He could be putting a bit more in production, but he is not... Oh, he's getting close to floating. Thankfully for him, his caretaker is up and 20 metal per second going into the factory. Same time, Pyro into the center. Pyro and a couple placeholders locking the commander in place, but ultimately not doing too much damage. At the same time, Exist is taking the west side of the map. Getting a pretty decent set of defenses on there. He has also gotten more radar coverage, so he knows a bit more about what the sponge is up to. Not a whole lot more, but just a bit. Still, this is primarily where the sponge has set up. Though the sponge is setting up further back, he's... Not yet taken the rest of these metal. Wow, there's a lot of metal spots here. It's like 12 metal spots worth of me or 12 metal with metal spots that the sponge could take at his leisure, but it hasn't yet done so. A little surprising there. He's not paying attention to this particular conjurer, and if he were, he could send it back to actually deal with this stuff. No, but it is nice and close. So at least he, has to wor he doesn't have to worry about that. However, there we go. Now he's paying attention to it, sending it along the back, which will be quite effective, and the sponge. Trying to get a Lotus in the center, which would be great against the Pyros, but unfortunately he doesn't manage... Oh, he does manage to do so! Getting the Pyros pushed back with the Glaive. like to see that. Do very much like to see that. The so Lotus has a chance to act. And this Reclaim, kind of No Man's Land Reclaim, this... Five... No, more than that. 800 metal worth of Reclaim here. That's not bad. That's pretty decent. That would be about another 10 Glaives. And we do have a Raven Switch. Getting the Airplane Factory, getting Ravens up. This is the first one, so this just happened. Well, Exist not yet gone for a factory switch, continuing along with the Jump Jets. Or, yeah, Jump Jet Plant, that's what it's called. <laughs> jump Bots usually is how I refer to them, but... Jump Jet Plant, similar. Same thing. Anyway, the Sponge can actually reclaim this, however, he does have a bit more control over this area, thanks to the Lotuses. Providing him with just that little bit of extra control. Two Lotuses, pretty well taken that whole area to themselves. And Exist has... He's got a lot of defenders over to the northwest. He has definitely wanted to take that area. And a power going here will find the Lotus and will die. Will, however, take that information back to Exist. And it might actually get rid of the Conjurer in the meantime. No, he won't. Or no, it won't. Powers are not male. They don't have a gender. They're robots. It will not be able to do that. And Exist, moving their commander back... Expanding along the southwest side. And the Sponge, now that they've figured out what's going on, is moving in here. But too many defenders. Way too many defenders. Some rockers, even hammers would be useful here. Actually, even better idea would be Phoenixes. If the Sponge went for Phoenixes, that would work really well for them. Exist switching over to Moderators and Pyro. This will break the Lotus line. The Sponge has a pretty short amount of time to reclaim all this metal. I'm going to do that fairly quickly. Reclaiming for energy instead of metal, which... Okay, now we switch over to Metal Reclaim. And his main base does have a decent amount of production, so we will be able to take advantage of that. Building all around the map, which is good to see. The Sponge really is getting very far ahead here. Now he's going for that Metal, but Exist going in for trying to take this out again. And these Glaives got to be careful about this placeholder. We've seen before already, the placeholder does a great job dealing with this. The Raven's moving back here, totally missed it. 
got rid of the commander. He's just losing his commander, but honestly, that's not that big of a deal at this stage. Still has 24 metal income. Tw well, okay, 19 metal, 29 energy. The center, however, is getting attacked pretty heavily, and the sponge, since it's the only work, since the sponge's commander is the only worker that they have up at the front, it is kind of important. The reclaim field is only going to be taken by the sponge's commander, which is going to be heavily threatened. The glaze will not be enough. I'm surprised he hasn't switched over to riot units yet. Switch over to warriors and rockos, because he kind of, or they kind of need to. The sponge kind of needs to switch over to that. Not sure though. I mean, the sponge does have a decent amount of production. He has the ravens going around. They're taking care of what they can for economic harassment. And actually, this one exists has very little energy. Thanks to the fact that the wind generators are not producing. Oh, they weren't producing very much, but they are now. So exist back in the game for energy. The sponge's commander still heavily threatened, but moderators not quite able to get rid of the lotuses quite yet. One of them goes down. The other one's still up. And I just do not agree with the glaives. I think that the glaives are fine, but there should be some extra support. Some Rockos, probably. Possibly warriors, but definitely Rockos, just to get rid of all the stuff more effectively. Not happening, though. The sponge going purely for glaive, and has pretty much taken the entire southeast side of the map. A little bit open, it looks like Exist is actually going to try to take that out directly. Realizing there's not a whole lot of defenses there. Exist moving down. However, the sponge is going to take out a metal extractor. They might take out more than one. How many ravens do they have? They have six ravens. That's quite a lot, actually. I should point out that even at this stage of the game, Exist has not gone for a fact switch. Though, given the fact that he just he lost his commander fairly recently and lost a fair amount of energy production as well. Not totally surprised. Anyway, the sponge with 28 glaives moving to the center. I think they're going to go for the kill at this point. Be a bit tricky with six pyros. That's a lot of area damage. He can really get rid of, they can really get rid of the glaives. Exist can just take care of all the glaives. And the placeholders locking out this area here. And the glaives trying to move in. Get torn apart by the pyros. This is exactly what I meant. The pyros just burning all the glaives down. Went down from 28 to, well, okay, 10. But only one in the battle within a second. Thanks to that placeholder. Now pyros moving in. The Lotus will take care of maybe two. But that's about it. A moderator and power go down. The sponge is commander under threat and basically making a last stand because it cannot get out of here. Oh wait, no it can't. That was a recon com. For some reason I thought it was support com. It can very much get out of there. My mistake. It can jump. Sorry about that. I, for some reason, thought it was a support commander. That was silly. For reference, I think... Oh yeah, this was a support commander. It was... Exist's commander was a support commander. The sponge's commander is, however, a recon commander. And thus was able to escape. So not quite last stand. Still, the sponge has... How many ravens does he even have? Six ravens. No archangels up quite... No archangels under production. The sponge is not worried about this at all. And a couple swifts coming in here for the sponge. Sorry, Exist not worried about this at all. Actually, neither is the sponge. He's moving in with these swifts. However, this swift is about to die to the defender field. But even then... Glaze managed to avoid the placeholders and are able to get rid of the moderators. The jack's not even a concern. And one of the placeholders does go down. The other placeholder very soon to go down. The other placeholder does go down. I think Exist is about to lose the game. Most of his army just went out. This Jack's trying to move in to take care of what it can, which is actually doing a pretty decent job. 5,000 health means a lot, but even with 5,000 health, it's still taking damage from all sides. Cannot really deal with anything that's actually damaging it too effectively. And with three Lotuses on it, along with half a dozen Glaives, it goes down. I don't really think there's much that Exist can do at this point. The Sponge, if they move in, that's game. Everything they have. I mean, how many Swifts in a vendor? Okay. Ah. Doesn't show me, unfortunately. Well, it looks like it's about a dozen Swifts and half a dozen Ravens. Along with 19 Glaives. Yeah, that should be fine. I still think that some Warriors and Rockers would have been more effective earlier on. But yeah, full-on Assault right now would win the game. The Sponge just needs to go for it, and they'd win. However, Exist is pretty well defended in the northwest side of the map. That is the one thing. The Sponge, I think, is just trying to get up what he figures is a large enough army. And now moving in for the kill with the Glaives. Getting rid of the placeholder. The placeholder really out of commission right now. It's attacked. Exist has to move back with his Pyros, but unfortunately for him, he's going to lose all of his Pyros as the Sponge just moves in. 
keeps Habitus and Glaze alive, but doesn't move him for the kill. He actually could take it. This game is his if he wants it. Just needs to move in and take it. Moderators are not going to be effective against the Glaze. Three Glaze are going to die, and then the Moderators are all going to go down. And now we see the Sponge moving into the Ravens. And the 24... Two dozen Swifts moving out as well. Just being spamming out the Swifts and the Glaives. Sponge really likes to go for his lightweight Raider Forces. And the Ravens just taking out... The Jump Jet Factory not quite dead yet. One more... No, two more shots in the Jump Jet Factory would do it. However, the Glaives are going to move in to finish it off instead of the Ravens. And that will do the trick. This will be game. I think Exist is going to throw in the towel once he loses the Factory. We'll see, though. The Northwest side might make a difference, but... There goes the Factory, and... Quite a lot of the Glaives as well. However... Exist just lost his factory and lost his... Oh, it's getting a cloak about factory, but lost all of his units. I'm not sure what he means by bugged. It looked bugged to me. It looked like they worked fine. However, might be thinking... At least the moderators were not attacking enough. I'm not sure what he meant by that. Anyway, that was the game. I hope you enjoyed that. Interesting Jumbo versus Cloaky match on Quicksilver. I still think the sponge could have pushed in a bit better and... Better mix, but... It worked. Can't argue with results. So I hope you enjoyed that, and, okay, you can't argue with the results because you can kind of figure out how, by how much the results work, but even then, the Sponge just... Sponge took that match pretty hard. Largely by taking map control quickly and aggressively and not letting it go. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. That will be it for me tonight. Thank you all for watching, and have a good night.